Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome, welcome, welcome to today's stream here on the Ballydorn farm. The new multiplayer map, or one of the multiplayer maps. We've still got Greenwich available on the server. And Greenwich is still there. It's not been deleted. It's not been removed. But we are looking at possibly trying this map as the multiplayer map because of issues that we've encountered over on... Um, over on um, Greenwich Valley, especially with the contracts. There seems to be a heck of a lot more contracts on this map, which is good for the likes of Helgi and that, who like to um, do lots of contracts. Someone's bought a load of fuel. Who's bought a load of fuel? Some of these uh, yards could do with a bit of a uh, smoothing toolage. Right, so let's have a look. Where's the ferry? Parked at the ferry dock. Right, yeah, there's no um, fertiliser in here yet because it's over yonder. Um, like I say, um, still in the process of setting up the map, really. So, uh, now I'm assuming this is the silo. to do two trips for the seed. Now I don't know if we've got any liquid herbicide or herb, uh, herbicide or um, liquid fertilizer or not. I may have to um, to get into this little area, this little compound. We have to go through here. Do 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 do. Yes, in the seed one is over here. Elgi's done not parked all the vehicles. He's been putting all the vehicles in their places. I just bought them and left them at the shop. So he's been doing all the manoeuvring. Seems like he's decided all the vehicles are going up here. He hasn't put any at our actual farm down here. This is a little bit strange. I would have thought some of the vehicles would have gone there. with the things 
25's about to go over into a uh, withered, most probably. Uh, which is a bit of a, a bit of a shame. Although technically that does need to be ploughed, limed, etc, etc, etc. So probably that it actually withering is not too bad. It's not too bad. Basically, all I've done when I've set, started this map up, bought all the vehicles that we had on Greenwich Valley, exactly like for like. So all the tools and equipment look the same if you've watched any of the previous Greenwich Valley live streams. And then I've um, bought some fields and that's about it. <laughs> transferred the money across from Greenwich Valley as well so at least we start with we're not starting from zero again we're starting with the same money that we kind of finished up with on Greenwich quickly going to do is give us some herbicide one things I didn't get we should have those now in our little in our little tanks and so our little tanks should have herbicide and liquid fertilizer in there Now I probably would move some of the machinery off the um, off the bat um, because things like the wind rowers, tedders, the mowers, they should really be down here where our grass fields are. Just saying, field twenty nine, field twenty six, field sixteen. The mowers are going to be better served being down there. than they are being up here. Now I've not had a, I've not done a drive around the map or anything like that if prior to starting this game. Um, so I've not really seen that much of the map. I certainly don't know my way around it so I wouldn't know how to get to one field from the other. <laughs> So, so far, Mr. Helgi would be the expert on this map. I can't just lock the steering axles when I'm in reverse. To make life a little bit easier for me. Tell you what, the triggers on these here um, placeable fill stations are um, quite incorrect, aren't they? Notice that. They're quite a long way um, back. Probably another mod at some point I need to have a look at. I need to get that mod 
put on a put on a one of my um, editing drives. Unzip it. Pull up the uh, i3Ds and go in and make the uh, unloading trigger a little bit bigger. And make the fill trigger also a little bit bigger for some of the machines. Now I think that is actually a lime station that you can buy lime from. Much as you can buy diesel from that machine there. And you can get water from that spot there. Um... So although we've got 80,000 litres of lime in the silo, we can actually buy it on this map here at the farm. Same with fuel. It's not like um, Greenwich where we have to go to the fuel station and we have to go and buy the lime from that little buying fill point thing down near the BGA. This map does give you some refill points at the farm. usually not a fan of that in multiplayer because like I say I would prefer it if people got their um, fertilizers and stuff had to buy them had to go and fetch them but then it always seems to fall on me then to, as the person who ends up having to go and fetch all the uh, fill materials I end up moving some of this equipment about a bit things like the um, one of the mowers there Like this fella, he doesn't need to be parked here at all because the grass fields are down here. So he would be better off in with the um, pigs and chickens and stuff, I think. Would be my, my, my feeling on that. Same as the tractor that does the wind rowing. The tractor that we allocate to do the tedding. Probably wouldn't use a 920 for that. I'd probably stick to using the, the 800 series. See if this goes in here, shall we? Yes. Oh, thank God. No, nice bit of lime. That's that filled. Course we're not going to have any digestate yet, are we? Uh, 950s, so these are the big boy tractors, so these want to be doing things like your cultivating and that, and your seeding.
think. Where's the store? Right down the bottom of the map. We'll go for a drive then. See what this map's got to offer. I'm a little bit concerned though about that. That's quite a steep hill to be dragging your trailer up there with these tractors that we know tend to be a little bit sluggish. Um. Here we go. I'm already running into traffic. literally running into traffic oh, this is this is not good i could see i'm going to be in that water I guarantee it not bought a truck yet by the way <laughs> That's one thing I do remember. We don't own a truck yet on the farm. We don't also we also don't have the little um um Ford tractor thing. On last weekend's Greenwich Valley we bought the um, I bought a little Ford tractor to do the grass mowing and stuff to help with the grass mowing by the sheep pen i decided we i haven't bought a ford i've kept it all class tractors at this point so we've got an extra cup two class tractors i think to start up with on this map that we didn't have on greenwich we've got an extra 800 series and we've got an extra 900 series but rather than having two 960s i've gone for two 920s keep that horsepower gap so if you want the real real horsepower heavy kind of um kit you need to be in the um terror track uh, okay where am i all the way down here so i keep following this road and when you get to the end of this road go turn left Go grab myself the cedars and the planters. Traffic will stay on for the time being here on the map, although it does start to be a little bit problematic with it being a little bit slow or something like that. We may turn the traffic off. Now one of the problems I did find with the map that I forgot to fix before I uploaded it to the server was that when you go into the terrain tools and you're doing any terrain editing or whatever you can't paint grass which is why a lot of these fields it looks like don't have grass on them well, they look a bit flat texture-ish um, the reason for that is as I say because it's not enabled on paintable grass is not enabled on this map unfortunately um, if it becomes a problem I, I have got a version of the map where I've edited that and fixed it basically I fixed that um, in an edit and um, can upload it it just means that anyone who's downloaded the map the mod pack and the map so far would have to download the map again if i upload a edited a fixed for a corrected version i 
national speed limit. So yeah, this um this shop when I left it left the server yesterday after initially switching it all on and everything, um, this shop was full of equipment. I won't lie, it was chock absolutely ram packed. I actually had to move some as I was buying equipment. I had to keep moving stuff because it kept giving me that um, no space to load stuff. So. I ended up with tractors like literally I had some tractors parked down this back wall facing that wall with the impl with all their implements on the tractors with trailers once I hooked up the trailers I parked them out here same with the um, the slurry spreader cultivator the combine I put the headers on the header trailers park them out here and uh, the combine and just was basically just putting stuff outside whilst keep trying to keep this area clear so I could keep spawning in loading in all the different machines but it reached the point where um, there was literally no space so huge thank you to Mr Helgi who has um, done a fantastic job of moving all the equipment that I've bought by himself without the aid of follow me or anything like that we haven't got any of those mods installed so he's brought all the machines one by one with all the attachments and all the implements back to the farm. He's a good lad. He's Mr. Helby. That's not really going to work, is it, mate? Oh. Tell you what. Don't give you a lot of room. Especially when you're pulling a great big uh, nine meter long planter. Better look once we get it back to the farm, we won't have to drive it billions and trillions of miles. Most of the fields will be fairly local to us. Like I say, I've not done any kind of drive throughs, drive rounds of the map, so I haven't done what I would normally do and that's check cell points for accessibility and I kind of made that mistake on Greenwich Valley as well some of the cell points on that map were really difficult to get into with trailers uh, I've not actually checked this map either to see if <laughs> we can get trailers in the cell points easily enough um, the good thing is it doesn't look like the hedges have any collisions on them so that's nice If that means a little bit down the road we can uh, plough them out. Apparently, apparently, as well, like here, you see, you got a field here, you got two fields here, which are a little bit weird. 
you might want to combine 13 and 14 into one field. This tractor's used a little bit of fuel. So what we can do in a little minute, in a little minute, <laughs> is uh, check to see if that is actually a buy point over there for fuel. course I've moved the um, seed mm. my memory is bad because if you remember I've just done this there is a little gate there you can't I don't think you can get tractors through it a bit weird uh, why can't I fill this up What have I done wrong? Have I bought this with the fertilizer option? Did I forget to change it? That's going to be flipping awkward as flip to get harvesters and stuff into, isn't it? Aye. Yeah, customise that. Add fertiliser on. Oh, good lord. That's why that was broken. Okay. I have to tell Helgi about that. So to fill this big planter, you've got to open the little door on own the little door on the back. If you open the big door, it doesn't fill. Okay. Okay. Okay, I've got to kind of work that one out now then. me thinking to myself I tell you what Mr. Elke's done a fantastic job of parking these vehicles he's done an incredible job parking them all and I bet you he's just driven in from the other side <laughs> hasn't he he 
He's had to reverse that one in, which is why it's probably a bit skew with. But certainly for um, the harvester and that boy, he's driven in from the far side. He's not. You can't tell me he's part them like that. He's reversed those in there, especially not that combine with its swivelly axle um, trailer, header trailer. Right, red diesel. Okay, yeah, that's a buy point then. <sighs> so my first one and only improvement or suggested improvement I would have for the map would have been to have made that maybe a silo, a, a fill tank. So you have to fill it. Same as the water pit down here. I would have made that um, one of the things I can't remember You know what, I'm probably going to grab one of these as well. And just chuck it down. Down somewhere there. Just for the big machines, the big equipment. Um, I don't even know what this map looks like at night. So I don't know how um looks like we've got plenty of lights on these buildings though so i'm guessing we're not going to need big spotlights put in everywhere and there's already some on that bit of land as well the only place i don't have any lights of course is over here on um near our um digester and our um fermenting building doodah and what are prices like on the map have i set it to the correct difficulty setting yep it's on correct difficulty that's good the so prices seem to be quite a bit higher than Greenwich Valley. Or do they? Or are they about the same? Mm, seem to be about the same for most of the cereal crops and stuff. Start getting a little bit higher when you start going into your soybeans, your corn. Uh, even and the good thing is potatoes and sugar beets tend to have a decent price on this map. As does the sugar cane. I've jacked them up a little bit. Because I've always felt potato, sugar beet and sugar cane prices are very low when compared to how much time it actually takes to make one of those to harvest that crop. Obviously everything else can be sold as per usual. I've done the... Uh, now the only thing we don't I think I've done... don't think I've bought a BGA. That's 30 grand. We, we need to buy that so we can use it. I think that's the only place we have to buy. 
a little bit of land there, look. Apparently, that must be that little campsite thing, you know. We'll have a look at that when we go past. Back to the shop to pick up the other um, planter, the other cedar. So that works out about right because we've got four hundred eighty-seven thousand pounds in the old um, fund bank funds. Uh, one of the things I didn't check: do we have a loan on this map? do 250 grand uh, we didn't have a loan on um, the original loan oak on Greenwich Valley we did pay it off in the end so I'm gonna add that money straight to the account now I'm gonna repay all that there so these are the things i'm sort of figure find finding out as we go along there's obviously stuff i will have forgotten as i've transferred from one map to the other to this one from the last map to this one so uh, i'll go grab the other cedar we'll fill it up ready to uh, be used And I think we're probably in a position whereby we can start doing some um, ploughing. Get the withered crop ploughed. Get those fields done. Um, get them lime spreaded. Um, Fertilised. And then uh, get some seed chucked on top of them. Start growing some. A couple of our other fields are growing. Or are in the growing phase. Um, we are using growth control again just to slow down the um, crops, make them a little bit, uh, give us a little bit of time in between growth cycles to be able to do other things. So, again, for the players that like to do some contract work, you can come in, you can do some contracts whilst waiting for our fields to. Uh, move through their cycles but it the growth cycles obviously are not as slow as you get with like seasons where it takes days before you're harvesting because the um, growth cycle is done on out in-game hours so some crops are quite quick like grass grows very quickly with growth control to the point where if you're a little bit slow getting it mowed and picked up you might struggle to get it fertilized again before it's ready to mow again let's not run over the people it's been a long week this week because I've spent quite a bit of time looking at um different maps once we decided kind of last weekend that we wanted something that diff because Greenwich Valley had the problem like I said the problem with Greenwich Valley was the field definitions on that map are seriously broken they haven't even uh, in fact I don't think the map author even actually implemented them he's just put little like squares on every field and he's like he's not really sized the fields properly and defined them properly which means that Contracts don't work properly on all the fields if you go in and enable contracts on because that that's I think that's the big reason why there are no contracts on a lot of fields on that map. And then I tried some other maps. I had a look at um Shamrock Valley. I had a look at that map. And um That was a nice map. Looked very nice. However, it only used a tiny little portion of the map. So if you pull up a map, the map, and you look at how big the map area is, I mean, obviously this map's probably 
suffers because there's a lot of water on this map that obviously could be quite, um, you know, there are people that would prefer that to be land and fields. Um, we then had a look at, um, this is Ireland. I think that's the name of the map. This is Ireland. That had the same problem as Greenwich Valley where none of the fields were correctly defined and there wasn't contracts available on fields. So that was out of the question straight away. So it came down to this map or Shamrock Valley in the end as our, our potential choices. And um, we kind of went for this one. A, because of the, the slight novelty factor you get with having that ferry on the map that you can drive. And also um, the fact that this map isn't a mod hub map. So there's less people playing this map because it's not available in game via the in game mod hub. And also, weirdly, despite the fact that this is not an in-game map, it's not in the mod hub, and it's not had any kind of giant's testing or anything, this map does actually have the field definitions and everything correct. Even on Shamrock Valley, there was a couple of fields I noticed that weren't quite right when you started changing the uh, ground state on the field. And when the AI was uh, going through the different site planting cycles itself you ended up with mixed crops on some of the fields oh why why tires on this map is probably not a good thing to use on the road oh run the blow go Tell you what, these narrow these narrow roads are an absolute pain to drive on with my game controller because my analog sticks on my game controller are so flipping knackered. <laughs> they don't centre properly. So when you release the stick, they, they always stay slightly left or slightly right. Which means you're constantly having to readjust the controller all the time. To try and drive straight, I'm having to move the controller. Normally, as well, it's made even worse by the fact that the right analog stick usually starts to spin. The camera starts to spin. Because the right analog stick, obviously, when that kind of sticks it off center, or seems to be off center, um, But it's not doing it at the minute. I have swapped my controller. I've put my controller into a different USB port today. I've put it. I've actually plugged it into my hub rather than directly into the back of my PC. Because I don't know. I may have slight. I don't know if I've either damaged the USB port or not. So a couple of times, I've got tangled in the cables when I've got up from my desk, and I've ended up like pulling the controller. And I just wonder, I just wonder if I've damaged the USB port and that was causing the um, the fact that the controller would never sit still. You know, the, the left analog stick would always be moving, the right analog stick would always be moving. Yeah, this is a, so, I can't actually build on that bit of land because you can't buy it. Uh, shame, could have put some placeables there. I could have had any fermenting tank there, you know. Because I appreciate now that my fermenting tank... ...being here, it's quite a long distance from where our grass is. So that's going to be lots of driving backwards and forwards, backwards and forwards with the um, 
loading wagon. We're not using the disable camera collision mod on this particular map either. I don't know if that affects one's ability to see when working in these buildings. Guess from here. We end up grabbing ourselves a terror tracking. straighten them up myself I won't park it quite so close to the wall for the obvious and simple reason I don't know quite why this happens You see these black things on the walls here? The light switches. Okay. So, you need to make sure you can get to those. So, you don't want to park stuff too close to the wall. Doesn't look like there's any on this side. Unless it's just one, there's probably just the, the two. Right, one does the exterior lights, one does the interior lights. Okay, that's cool to know. Whereas on this side, the switches do the interior and exterior. Handy. We want a, a plow then. Me plans. Plows and cultivators. Mini. Double stacking them. Yeah, it's just double stacking. Thank you. 
Oh, there we go. Six metre subsoiler. Right. So I've got to go do fields 30. 28. Fields 30 and fields 28. Probably could have gone a bit cross country for this. I call shenanigans. How did that cement mix move this tractor like that? <laughs> I haven't travelled there. I've gone on a, quite a detour just to move this couple of yards. So we've got a crop there that's going to wither, unfortunately. Field is that? That's field 25, isn't it? Skinning some of these gates might be interesting. I'd also like to see the gates on maps just open a little bit wider. The chance.
Right. So we've ploughed that little bit. We are going to have to do lime on it, but I'm going to go back to the farm, grab the combine, and have a bit of a look at field 25 here, because that needs to be harvested. Out the gate, turn right. I don't want our first our first field to wither, do we? On the back. If we can help it. I miss something. Where's the gate to get into this field? Oh, how am I supposed to get to there? Have I got to go all the way around? That's not that good, is it? ZZ Top 71234, thank you for the follow. Welcome to the channel, welcome to the stream. Oh, I did not need a lorry driving down here. Forgive me. I thought it was a road. I thought there was a road into that field. And there isn't. say first time playing on this map and I do not know my way around it not all the paths are very clearly marked on the map so I'm down here okay so I see I've driven a lot I've come out of the the far, the the parking area I've driven down here come down here I suppose I should have maybe gone through there should I Round and then in. What's my header trailer doing on the way out there then? Someone hit me. Probably that cement mixer. not quite as clear to see how to get into some of these fields as it was on the last map but we'll figure it out in time if the worst comes to the worst we'll plow out the hedges <laughs> we'll plow away the hedges
this is not easy. Bit of crop destruction there. to rethink some of these field edges a bit. <laughs> I mean, if this is just a grass field over here, then this hedge really could be took out. Problem is, I don't know whether you'd get the header through the gate on the combine. I mean, there's enough room it looks like to drive around the field with a trailer. So there is that good thing, you can get a trailer around the outside of the field whilst you're doing the harvesting, which on Greenwich Valley was a bit of a problem on some of the fields. But it doesn't look like there's a heck of a lot of room when you go through the gates into the fields to park the header trailer and uh, get the header off. can't fix it with um, the train tool because it doesn't um, paint grass. Oh, you may go anymore. Time in talk to me. It's main, main afternoon for streaming. Saturday afternoon, busiest work day of the week for a streamer, YouTube creator, and he wants to go to a flipping football match. I think your mate ain't talking for nearly a month now. It seems a bit strange that he's still not very well. He's had this freaking cold and cough for a bloody long while. He's had he's had he's had he's had a cold for over a month now. That's a bit freaking strange. Even if it was flu, it wouldn't have lasted that long. one it means I'm probably gonna have to leave stop what I'm doing at about what what time would it be about quarter past two so I've probably got about another about another hour maybe just under an hour before I have to stop the stream take him to football it'd be pointless me starting the um, stream when I come back so then obviously I've got to go pick him up at five o'clock so he's kind of ruined my uh, Saturday afternoon here. Yeah? My streaming plans for today. Because obviously if I, if I stream this evening, I'm going to stream something other than Farmson in the evening. I'll probably play some more um, Taylor 2 Wastelands as I was playing last night, which I really did enjoy. Oh, there we go. 
94%, so I'm nearly full. Bit of truck in a minute. Quicker to tab this way. Uh, nine fifty, nine fifty. So that's uh, we'll take the um, eight hundred series. Fetch sunflowers. We should have gone, probably come down here with the harvester initially. Knowing how to get to where you want to be on this map, I'll tell you. Are you joking me? being funny now. <laughs> How are you supposed to get to some of these flipping fields? Open this. Oh, there's no end. There's no way into here. It's a dead end. As you come out here, hmm. There's, there's, there may have to be some strategic um, hedge removal. I think on this map because you can't get to some fields. <coughs> prepare and plan for chopping out some hedgerows. Obviously a good place to do that for this field would be to put take a bit out of the um, on this corner maybe <clears throat> so that we can get into the field
50% full. There's the bing from the fill level warning mob doing its job. I do wonder if you could set those audible warnings to be a little bit later. Rather than it do it at 50%, do it at maybe 70. And then do it again at 90 rather than at 80. That 80% warning comes far too early. I know it puts the um, beacons on, but I think it should only be activating now at 90%. Maybe have the first little warning come at 60, perhaps instead of 50. get the rest of this um, sunflower harvested because this is obviously in danger of withering I think it's the only crop in danger of uh, withering
50% full. I probably should be doing a teardrop motion when I come off the field to enable me to turn back on myself. A little bit easier. go at that once we get to the bottom of this run. And you would turn that way. And then turn around. Much better. <laughs> I ain't got a reverse and shunt about then have I? go again <laughs> full so that's about 33,000 litres so far then we've took off this field not bad yield I mean, like, obviously it would be nice to have um, full trailer load by the time we're done. Don't think we're going to get a full trailer load off of this field, but it'll be close. And this field hasn't been ploughed or limed or anything, so um, the yield is obviously going to be not quite perfect first time round. Obviously, once we've worked it, ploughed it, limed it, fertilised it, and everything, our next harvest should be better.
about 40... Just, we're going to have just slightly over 40,000 litres, I think. It's not bad for a first harvest. So a lot of these uh, sunflowers may have gone slightly over. As I say, that field was borderline wither withering. Or had borderline withered. And that's the only field of ours that's ready to harvest. Excluding, of course, grass fields. The rest are all fairly growing. Like, like I say, we've got ploughing and lime spreading to do now on field 25 here. on there or not. Another slight difference between this map and Greenwich Valley. When it comes to these uh, class header trailers and that, these don't do that little nifty little shuffle thing where when you put the header on the trailer it, it kind of aligns itself and strap hooks itself on. Please don't do that, just so you know. All the class vehicles you see in this map are not actually from the class DLC. They're all mods. It's a way of having the class, it's kind of like, it's kind of a way of having the class DLC without having the DLC, if you know what I mean. So people who don't own the DLC are not excluded from being able to play on the server. They can play on the server if they don't own the DLC because all these uh, class vehicles are mods. They're not actually... Um, they're not actually real, <laughs> is what I'm trying to say. Yeah, I might, I might see. I might see if I can put a fence in into there, create a bit of a uh, a gap. I do find it w a bit weird that, like you say, you've got this area here that's all open. There's nothing in it. This is all open, all open, all this is open, open. There's a f random fence, bit fence starts here, and then they put a gate. Well, why would you use the gate when all that's open to start with? Same as over here. There's a gate here. All this is open. I don't quite, I don't really understand that. If I'm being perfectly honest. 
And yeah, yeah there's other fields where you literally just can't get into them. <laughs> there's like no gates where you think there should be some gates. Hey, it's an Irish map, of course. It's bad to have some issues on it. Because it's Irish. Which means it's all a bit ish. So we'll go and unload this. I do believe this unloads in here. Yes. Oh, I tell you what, that trigger's not very big. For there. That's quite tiny. Tiny trigger. that back in there nicely nice nicely nice there we go tractor bit rubber me eyes right. suppose we do a kind of bit of carry on ploughing then shall we Lol, lol, I just realised the plough's on back to front, but it's still working. <laughs> the plough's on the tractor, but the, the tines are the wrong way round. This field's got a good area where you drive in. You'll be able to uh, drop the head of trailer off for a combine, spin round, pick it up. There's the possibility that I've run into some of these these issues. Because obviously, I've changed a lot of the fields on this map for multiplayer purposes. There was a lot more grass fields when you first load in and first load the map up. There was a lot more fields that were just grass. There was very few crop fields 
And that's something I've noticed with a lot of the Irish themed maps. They tend to have a lot of grass fields and not a lot of crop fields. So obviously I've used the um, the dev tools when I first logged in to set some of the fields back to being um, crop fields after I'd bought them. But maybe they're not designed for um, harvesters and stuff to go into them. Maybe they are literally just designed for a mower. And then obviously tractors pulling balers, loading wagons, tedders, windrowers, etc. I'm going to guess this, this field will need lime as well. As tends to be the case with most um, fields on a map. When you first start out. They're terribly difficult. So we have got the bradle for lime spreading.
or some late night ploughing to end the first day here on the map. I'm guessing that's a lighthouse over there with that light spinning round. Bit weird. Okay, it's just finished in time. I have to take a stream break. Somebody needs to go to a football mat. He can't fucking walk. Use his own legs to get there. So I have to be bloody taxi service. <laughs> Get out of this field. <laughs> Where's the fence? Where's the gate? <laughs>
there. Where's where's the gate? On this main road. Yeah, it is. It's in this corner, isn't it? Field is a uh, field twenty eight, I think. Yeah, field twenty eight. Uh, I'm assuming I can get to that going this way. understand the logic on this map I really don't with gate placements why are the gates actually flipping on paths where the paths are why aren't the gates where is so where's the gate for the field 28 then It's over here. Alright, so it's in here. Well, that's not flipping very helpful, is it? The perfectly good track here. Why isn't there like a gate, you know, on this track? Somewhere. You've got one there for that field. So surely you would put one on this side for that field. Wouldn't you? This is why I'm seriously thinking about ploughing out the hedges. <laughs> Already I'm thinking to myself, let's plough out the hedges, get rid of the hedges. Because uh, they're, they're, they're not helping anything. They're stopping you getting to fields, basically, is what they're doing. Gotta go through here. This is must be the um what was it called? Contractors farm or something. There we go. So we'll switch him off. I am gonna say something. 
when I can find the buttons. I want to say thank you for those of you that have joined into this very brief Saturday afternoon stream. And um, I will be back online later this evening. Unfortunately, I won't be playing Farm Sim this evening. I will be back playing Tale of Two Wastelands. So the next time I will be farming simming here on this map will be tomorrow. Where hopefully I'll be able to get a couple more, a few more hours in without interruptions. Um, so join me then if you're the farm sim type of people and want to see more of this map. Obviously come back tomorrow for that. If you're just a uh, channel follower in general, then obviously I'll be back later on this evening doing the um, uh, Tale of Two Wastelands continuation. Carrying on playing a bit more of that. So thank you everybody. Goodbye for now.